Hey guys, welcome back to another journal with me video. For today's page, I had some pressed baby's breath from a bunch of flowers my sister got for me. I have these two little fold out books with drawings by my kids. And I also have these Instax photos of my kids in the garden. And today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. So I wanted to share a little bit about them before we jump into the process today. So Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of creative people come together to explore new skills and deepen existing passions and interests. Skillshare has so many different topics to learn about, including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. I just finished up this class by Peggy Dean called Embroidery in Photographs with 10 Simple Stitches. And this class stood out to me because I thought that it would be such a fun technique to include within junk journals or even just within your journal pages. Peggy takes you through every step, making it so easy and fun. And it just adds so much texture and so much interest. And it's such a cool art form that you can really do from anywhere. So Skillshare is specifically curated for learning. So there's always new premium content being added. And one of the best parts is that there's no ads. So there's absolutely no interruptions when you're trying to learn a new skill. Skillshare is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back to the process. So I've just turned to the next page in my journal and I'm just pulling out all the little bits and pieces that I have to put into the page. I've also got these new papers from the Garden Party collection by Crate Paper. And I'm just trying to choose between these two really beautiful floral print papers. I really, really love that colorful one, but I just feel like it might be a little bit too busy on this page, depending on how the page develops. I've also got this cut apart sheet also from the Garden Party collection. And I'm thinking if I go with that black and white floral, I can tie in some more colors from that journal card um, sheet and cut them apart and incorporate some of those onto the page. I'm just trying to toy around with ideas of how I can add the photos to the page. So do I want to just stick them straight down on the page or do I want to put them inside like a little coin envelope like you see here? Or I've also got this vintage doily that I thought that I could incorporate somewhere on the page as well. I kind of wanted this page to have a bit of a vintage feel to it and I wanted it to feel really pretty. So that's why I pulled out that vintage doily. And I'm just trying to, as always, work out the best layout for things. So just playing around with different ideas and different layouts and just choose my favorite. So that's what you see me doing here. These two little drawing booklets from my kids, they're interactive, they fold in and out. So I thought about sticking them straight down onto the page and having them fold off the page. But because there's two of them, I kind of felt like they would start to take up too much room. And I thought that it might be better to tuck them away into the page somewhere. So I pulled out this plain white envelope and I thought I could just tuck them inside there. That way they're incorporated onto the page, but they're not going to take up a heap of space. So it's just so I've just tucked them in there for the moment. And now I'm going to start cutting apart that cut apart sheet so that I can actually see which pieces I want to use and just narrow it down to like two piles one pile is definitely don't want to use and the other piles like a maybe pile so things that i think might look nice on the page and then things that i definitely don't want to use on the page so just the process of elimination just because there's so many choices there i thought that that pink journaling card would be pretty to add a pop of color to the page because at this point i'm thinking that black and white paper will be the pick so I thought that I could add some of that pinky tone in with that journal card. And then I'm just choosing another one for the other side of the page. I thought with that envelope, I could staple it onto the page itself, just in the corner of the page. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that at this point. And I'm just trying to make sure I make the right choice with the paper. In hindsight, I think either would have worked fine, but I think maybe as well, a factor in choosing was that the colorful floral is probably my favorite paper from this collection or one of my favorite papers at the moment and I just didn't know if I was going to be doing that paper justice or if maybe there would be a better opportunity to use it later I felt like this black and white page or paper looked equally as pretty so that's why I went with that I 
Now I'm going to glue that paper down as a background and you can see here I've got an Instax photo that's developing and I just took that as I was journaling. So, so my kids and my husband were outside and I just took a quick photo of them together and I am going to end up incorporating that photo into the spread as well. And I'm using my wet PVA glue or like a craft glue to stick things down just because it's really strong, especially for that background paper that patterned paper is quite thick so it needs quite a strong adhesive to stick it down and I just covered over the tape that was already in the middle with a different pattern tape that I thought would complement better just like a softer color and I think that looks a lot better now you can see me stapling that journal card onto the front of that envelope and tucking those little drawings inside and I'm going to staple that along the top corner of the page like I said and again in hindsight I could have made this a little bit better by stapling it the other way around so that the envelope opens up on the inner side rather than the outer side but I end up stapling it in the corner and the flap of the envelope kind of tucks over the page onto the next page. Now just working with that pressed flower and the other little bits and pieces that I have I thought that a journal card would look pretty in the corner and I thought that I could use this doily on this page and just fold it so that it overhangs the page and so that it's not taking up the whole space. It's still leaving me some space to journal. So I just staple that doily straight down and then I added a little bit of glue to that later as well just to make sure it's stuck down well. And I'm again using my craft glue to stick that other journaling card in the corner of the page. And then I thought that press flower would look really pretty sitting on top of that vintage doily. So again, I'm using my stapler. I wanted to put a staple through the middle, but it couldn't reach. So I put a bit of that same pattern tape across the middle, and then I'm gonna add a staple along the bottom and the top of that flower, just to make sure that it's stuck really well to the page. Now I'm taking that envelope and I'm going to staple that up in the corner, like I said, and as I said, I've probably stapled this the wrong way. I could have made this a little bit better, but that's okay. It still worked out all right. But I'm just putting a staple in the corner and then I ended up folding the flap of the envelope over so it overhangs the following page. And the whole idea of this, as I said, is just to include those ephemera pieces on this spread without making them take up too much space. So adding them in an interactive way. Now I just have my Instax photo, so the two from a different day and the one that I just took while filming. And I'm going to stick these along the bottom of the page. And usually I'd use double-sided tape to stick these down, but I don't have any. So I'm using my stapler and I'm just adding a staple along the bottom of each photo. And the two photos on the right, on the thicker paper, it worked quite well. It stuck them quite sturdily. And for the other photo, it needed a little bit more reinforcement. So I'm actually going to use this label sticker as sort of like a tape. So I'm going to stick that overlapping the photo along the top, and that's just going to help stick it to the page, just anchor it a little bit better. And here you can see I've gone in and added my written journaling and also just adding a couple of stickers. I'm also just adding a couple of stickers along the page, but not too much because I really liked the simplicity of this page. I really like journaling in different directions on the page. I think it makes it look really interesting and it's a really easy way to fill up some awkward spaces that you're left with. So I think that's a good tip. You don't have to just journal from left to right. You can actually journal in any direction that you like. And here's a look at the finished spread. So. Again, I think this turned out really pretty, really simple. I am enjoying doing these simple spreads that just look pretty, that just look pretty and still include everything that I want on the page. I hope you guys enjoyed this journaling process video today. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you in my next video.